Hey guys, Eileen Vick here for Adult Coloring. Um, we've all been doing these gem bugs and getting excited about them. So I thought I would go ahead and show you how I'm doing them to um, add to the other videos that people have been submitting just to give you a little bit of different ideas. The one that I'm going to do tonight is this guy. Now, I've already done him up here. I'm going to find the other one that's on the book and do the exact same thing so that you can see. But if you'll take a look at that, this is how he is supposed to turn out. And let me zoom in on that just a little bit so you can see that. You can see the uh, white pen that I've got on there. Oh, looks like I've got a little smearing going on, which of course I'll go ahead and fix. Um, so, anyway, this is what I'm going to be working on and give you an idea of how I do it and see if it helps you. It's pretty straightforward. So let me find the other one here, which is right there. So the first thing, well, wait, let me digress a moment, sorry. Okay, so on this one that I did earlier, I did not add the white streaking because I wanted to go ahead and show you how I did that. So let me move the camera here. And I've got the Faber-Castell Ivory. Now you can use white, but I tend to use the ivory. I like it. And all I'm going to do, let me swing my camera around here. All I'm going to do is take my pencil and streak. So there's one there. There's a little shorty there, and there's my third one. Now, what I would recommend when you do that is jog them off. So this one I put up here, the second one I angled off down a little bit lower, and then the third one I put up this way. Um, and I just pushed through my white pen, but that's okay because I'll come back and fix that later. Okay, so there is the gem bug with the streaking. Let me zoom in there for you. And this gives you an idea now of how that looks and how you can add that extra effect. Now you don't have to add it, that's totally up to you what you want to do, but I do, I like how it looks. Alright, so let me get to the, to the uh, same bug here on the page. And that's going to be this little guy right here. Let me move some things around on my desk so I can angle my camera and get my hand in at the same time so we can all see what's going on here. Now, the formula that I use, and other people may be different, so I'm just really telling you what works well for me, is that whenever I do the coloring, I pick three pencils of the same color uh, uh, scheme. So right now I'm doing pink. And you want to pick a dark, a medium, and a light. Now, if you want to follow along, I'm mixing brands a little bit here. This is the um, Polychromos, uh, what do we have here? Oh, that light's shining on there. There we go. Middle purple pink is my darkest. And light Purple pink is going to be my medium. Again, these are polychromos. And this is a Derwent, which is pink lavender. You can go ahead and pick out what the equivalent is um, in the polychromos if you like. Okay, so here's what I do. Let me get on the buglet. And let's see how we can get to this so I can color. And I'm going to be coloring through the camera, so, well, no, I'm not. Okay, so, here we go. So, I'm going to take my pink, this is my light pink, and I'm going to make my little circle on the right-hand side. This is my reflection circle. Now, some people color the whole bug the lightest color. If you want to do that, that's fine. doesn't really make a difference. You can, you can do what you want. But anyway, so I'm going to make my lightest pink circle. This is my lightest color. Now I'm going to take my medium 
pink. Let me get you situated here. There we go. Now I'm going to take my medium pink. Let me change my light. And I'm going to color the rest of the bug. I'm going all the way out to the edges. Okay, now I'm going around my little light pink circle here. And I've probably got a medium pressure on this little guy here. Now you can still see the light going for a little bit darker. Gonna make sure I've got my uniform color here. Get that finished. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and use my medium pink on this area here. You'll see why in a minute. Okay, now I'm going to take my darkest color, and this is what makes the 3D effect, and I think is the most critical when you're doing your bugs, is now I'm going to outline the bug with the darkest color. And I'm going to do that all the way around. See, this is what creates your depth. Now, I'm going to bring that darker color in a little bit onto my medium pink. Okay, so that's giving us the depth. And I'm going to bring it in just a little bit on this side. Okay. So, see how we're starting to get that depth on there? And now I'm pressing a little bit harder yet. Broke my tip, but that's okay. To get that outside. And I'm going to take my little duster brush here to brush this off. Alright, so we've got the dark on the outside medium in the middle, and that light little circle that we did. I'm going to go back to my middle color here and fix this. We've got some little white blotches coming through. And I'm coloring in little circles. Okay? And see how that white spot that we started in the beginning, which is actually your light pink, is showing up beautifully. Okay. Now, I had my medium pink here. I'm going to go back with my dark, this color, and I'm going to outline my bug. So I've got a nice contrast going there as well. Sorry for the wiggling camera. And let's see, oh, there we go, yeah. Change that light a little bit for you. I'm going to go back over with the medium a little bit and even out some of this coloring here. Okay, so again, we've still got our very light pink. We have our medium that we're going around the pink with. And don't forget your dark on the outside because that's what's going to give you, in my opinion, the most depth. See how nice that looks as, as I go over that? Okay, so we've got that. Now, I'm going to take my Uniball Broad. I tap it on the table just to get the ink going a little bit. 
Then I get my little paper that I go ahead and make sure it works. I'm going to pick that up a little bit. And then, let me zoom in. I'm going to take my white pen and I'm just going to make a parallel white streak down the side of the bug. You can make the top a little thicker if you like, thin it out at the bottom. And I deliberately went a little bit too far because I want to show you something. And then I'm going to take my white pen and I'm going to kind of arc up and continue that arc and pop that little piece in. There we go. Cool. Alright, so I deliberately went too far because I wanted to show you something. I'm going to let this dry a second so you can see how to clean this up. No biggie deal. It'll be done shortly. But yeah, look at that beautiful contrast now that we've got. And if you want to fuss with it, we all like to fuss with our pencils and so forth. Now I'm just taking the lightest color and going over that circle again and going over the outside and I'm just waiting for that ink to dry. Okay, so if you go too far, all you do is take your pencil, use the same color that you colored that particular spot and just literally push the white away and into whatever angle you want. See how nice that fixed? There we go. So there we go. We've got the streak, the two streaks to make it look the 3D. Got my little white area here. Now, if you think that that white isn't white enough, I got my new um, Mono Zeros. Uh, oh, come on. Roll around. There we go. Mono Zero eraser tip. This is a little teeny tiny tip that it erases. So I'm going to erase a little bit of this. And that's the other neat thing. You can, you can adjust the color. And if you get that too white, you just color it back over with your lightest pink. Okay. Medium pink just to get this little spot here. Alright. So, then I'm taking a, let's see, Derwent um, Mid Gray. And I'm going to color in the little arms. Let's see here. Let's get this little guy here. Oops, sorry, I'm sorry. And again, I'll smooth this stuff out a little bit later. If it's a little bit ragged, I'm not going to bore you while I'm doing that. Um, I'm taking my uh, darkest pink here, and I'm going to hit these little spots for the little buglet legs. I'm going to hit this, two, three... One, two, three. I'm going to get the top here. One, whoops. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do I need to finish yet? Okay. So I need to finish the two little arms here. Not pressing hard. Again, this is the uh, Derwent Mild Gray. Okay. And let's see. Oh, um, my lightest pink, I'm going to make the head. 
only because I've already got medium and dark here, so now I want to make that look different. So I've got the head. Okay. And then I'm using a black gel pen. And now I'm going to do the claws. Hit that little guy. Hit that little guy. Um, now, on the legs, I'm going to draw with my black pen on the inside right there. And I'm going to do the little arm connection in black with my pen. There's the arm connection here. Again, draw this little line on the inside. Uh, let's see. Draw this arm on the inside with the black. So it's half gray, half black. Do the arm connection. Do the arm connection here. Yeah, black on the inside. arm connection here, or the leg connection, in black. Again, you can use pencil, you can use gel pen, whatever you want to use. Black on the inside here. Black on the inside there. And then the little half moons for the legs. And then I'm going to dot the eyes. And make the very tip of the antenna black. And then carefully, because I would have done pencil first, go back and hit that with my gray, just so we have a little bit different. Okay, there's your bugglet done. Now... I'm going to, I've got my streak here, I've got my streak here, and you guys know me, I like to add the little um, streaks across the back in addition. Again, you want to use your ivory, I'm using ivory um, polychromos, and I'm going to do one here, and don't hesitate to press firmly, I'm pressing pretty firmly. So I've got this one down, this one I'll probably do up a little bit. Again, press firmly, and I'm going to come back down here. Try and keep your line, don't let it get too fat. All right, and I'm not going to brush that with my hand. Hopefully everything's dry so it doesn't smear. Oh, forgot to do this guy here. And this guy. And there you go. Didn't take long at all. I did it a little bit slower for the purposes of this demonstration, but once you work on it, it goes pretty quick. And for the background now, around the, the bugs, I'm using the Polychromos Light Flesh. So... Normally, I would have colored this in first, but I didn't because I wanted to do this demonstration. Got thinking about that. But yeah, see now I'm just doing the light flesh. Get around the bugs carefully. I guess it, well... Yeah, you don't want to smear your pen once you've done it, so I think I'd color in the background first. And I'm not going to do the whole thing around the bug because you get the idea. But the main point that I wanted to make here is that this is a pretty straightforward process, and once you've done two or three of them, it's going to become second nature. So again, you want to, the whole trick, I think, is to get a light color 
whatever you choose, purple, blue, um, orange, red, a medium color, and a dark color. So light, medium, dark, and again, you start with your light in the circle, your medium color along the main part of the body and the outside, and I'm sorry, that was my dark, and then your dark color around the outside to give it depth. And don't worry, I, you know, I'm going to add a little more darker. You could even maybe add a little gray, just be really careful. And then just be sure to color in a little bit so you get that idea of depth. So, there's the buglet. Went pretty quick. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helps. And if you have any questions or comments, get a hold of me. Thanks, guys. Bye.